what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question which says find the values of x and y for which x squared minus y is equal to 73 and y squared minus x equal to 73 actually we can call this equation one and we can call this equation two now before we go ahead to solve this question you need to know that there is a condition attached to this question and what is this condition the condition is that x is not equal to y so let's take note of this so our first step will be for us to subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So let's do that. So I'm going to be putting minus here. So x squared minus y squared, I write that here. x squared minus y squared. Very good. And then minus y. So minus y minus times minus gives plus x and this is equal to 73 minus 73 73 minus 73 very good now our next step will be for us to arrange the left hand side so we have x squared here minus y squared and then I'm going to be writing this first since x appears first. So this is plus x minus y. And this is equal to 73 minus 73 is 0. Now notice that there is a property of difference of two squares. And the property of difference of two squares is, for example, maybe when I have a squared minus b squared this is equal to a minus b times a plus b very good and now we're going to write this like so so this becomes x minus y times x plus y very good and then plus x minus y so x minus y equal to zero now notice that x minus y is actually common so we can factor out x minus y so let's factor out x minus y and then open a bracket now x minus y times x plus y divided by x minus y i'll be having x plus y so x plus y and then plus plus x minus y divided by x minus y i have one very good and this is equal to zero so we have two cases here the first case is x minus y equal to zero and then the second case is x plus y plus one equal to zero so we're going to be solving these cases one after the other now let's start from the first case so we see from case one from case one in case one we have x minus y to be equal to zero and in order for us to isolate x, we have to add y to both sides. Okay, let's add y to both sides of the equation. This we have x. And then minus y plus y cancels out. Equal to 0 plus y is y. Well, this cannot work because the given condition says x must not be equal to y so we're going to be rejecting this now let's go to case two so we see 
from case two. Our case two, we have x plus y plus one to be equal to zero. Now, I want to isolate x by moving y and one to the right hand side. But in order to do that, I'll be subtracting y from both sides. I'll also subtract one from both sides. All right, so let's do that. So this becomes x and then plus y minus y cancels out. And then plus one minus one also cancels out. Equal to, this is zero minus y is minus y. And then what is left here is also minus one. Very good. So we have x to be equal to minus y minus one. And you know what we're gonna be using this for? We're gonna call this equation three since we already have equation one and two. And we put this in either of equation one or two. So let's put equation three. So I'll say put equation three in equation one. And what is equation one? Equation one is x squared minus y equal to 73. So that means wherever I see x, I'm going to be substituting negative y, negative one. This is x squared, so this will be negative one, negative y, which represents x, and then squared, and then minus y, equal to 73. Very good. Now notice that this expression is of the form a minus b or squared. And when expanding an expression like this, it is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now let's follow this format in expanding this expression. So this will be negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 times y and then plus y squared. Very good. So following this format, we've been able to expand this to form this. And then minus y equal to 73. Now let's simplify. So negative one squared gives one, and then negative two times negative one times y gives plus two y because negative times negative is positive. And then plus y squared minus y equal to 73. Now let's simplify the left hand side. So this is 2y minus y. 2y minus y gives y. So I'm going to be writing this first. So this is y squared. And then 2y minus y is y. So this is plus y and then plus one equal to 73. Now our next step will be for us to move 73 from the right hand side to the left hand side. And in order for us to do that, we have to subtract 73 from both sides. Okay, so subtracting 73, we have here, we have y squared plus y, so plus y, and then one minus 73 is minus 72. Very good. And this is equal to 73 minus 73 is zero. So we have a quadratic equation. And for this quadratic equation, we're gonna be using the quadratic formula to solve this. I know it is factorizable, but let's use quadratic formula. All right, for quadratic formula, uh, a is the coefficient of y squared, and that's 1. Our uh, b is the coefficient of y, and that's also 1. But our uh, c is a constant term, which is negative 72. 
so negative 72. And now, since we're looking for y, so y is equal to using the quadratic formula, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now let's substitute into our quadratic formula. So y now becomes negative b. So negative b, b is 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared. b is 1, so we have to square that. That's b squared minus 4, which is 4 times a times c. 4 times a, a is 1. And then times c, c is negative 72. So negative 72. Very good. All over 2 times a. 2 times a, a is 1. So this simplifies into y equal to, this is negative 1, plus or minus the square root of 1 squared is 1. And then let's watch carefully. This is negative 4 times 1 times negative 72. So negative times negative makes it positive. And when we multiply these terms, we have 288. All over 2 times 1, that's 2. So this simplifies into y to be equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 288 is 289 all over 2. 289 is actually a perfect squared, which is 17. So the square root of 289 is 17. So we have y to be equal to negative 1 plus or minus 17 all over 2. Now let's separate the values of y from here. Now separating, we have y, which is the first value of y, to be equal to negative 1. Go with the plus, plus 17 over 2. And then the other value of y will be negative 1. This time, go with the negative, negative 17 all over 2. Now this first value becomes negative 1 plus 17 is 16, all over 2. And then 16 divided by 2 is 8. Now for this second value of y, this will be negative 1, negative 17 is negative 18, divided by 2. Negative 18 divided by 2 gives negative 9. Very good. Now let's get the corresponding value of x let's recall so recall that from our equation 3 we have x to be negative 1 negative y so I'm going to be putting the values of y here so let's start with the first value when y is equal to 8 let's get the corresponding value of x so the corresponding value of x will be this is negative 1 negative y which is 8 so this gives negative 1 negative 8 is negative 9 so the corresponding value of x is negative 9 and then when this time y is negative 9 what will be the corresponding value of x so the corresponding value of x will be negative 1 negative y y is negative 9 this time around so let's put it in parenthesis this simplifies into negative 1 minus times minus is plus 9 which gives negative 1 plus 9 is 8 so we see that our values of x and y are when x is negative 9 okay when x is negative 9 y is 8 and when x is 8 y is negative 9 so you can see that from our given question which is x squared minus y equal to 73 
and y squared minus x equal to 73, this is a symmetric equation. And that is why our values of x and y are interchangeable and it doesn't change the equation. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.